Bi Hang Lee up on the green. This to get it to seven under, one back. Well, she rolled a really impressive putt in at first. Mi yeah. Hyang Lee chipping at the third. And it was from that rough at the back of the green because her tee shot went into the right rough and she was able to chase one back to there. And very nicely played. Yeah, nice start for Mi Hyang Lee. I don't think there's much in this. And again, following in the footsteps of Jin Yang Ko, leaving that flag in. And this tee was moved back again today. They've been playing up a little bit over the last couple of days. So playing its full length, she has 148 left. But really, with the way these greens are, greens are firming up, you just want to land this about 140. Plays uphill a bit. Yeah, so the ball lands before it really gets to the bottom of its arc, and it's uh, not normally going to be a spinning shot. What a beauty. Li Xiang Li for birdie at four. Looking at a spot just outside the right of the hole. Never a chance. I've seen defensive putts through the week, Judy, quite a bit. Yeah, the greens are um, the greens are very um, very quick. They are pristine in nature. I don't think there's a bump on the greens anywhere. Remember, Mi Heng Lee put it here with her second, now her third. That's a great line, this bunker. There's still a lot of distance to cover. But that was very well done. That was brilliant. Mm-hmm. Shang Lee, ready? And there is just a smidge of breeze helping, but not really enough to affect the ball flight. Whole location really tough today. Back in that tiny little section at the back of the green on the left. This one is fading, and that is not going to be very easy. Let's go to eight. Can't be easy for me, Yang Lee, in the rough. No, not at all. The only thing was it was on an upslope. That's a great play. Wasn't it? Oh. What about that touch? Outside chance for birdie. And uh, it is downhill, break to the left. But she's been doing quite nicely in terms of sort of keeping her round going. I mean, she's really... I don't see she's trying to do anything other than play her game. Although that was a very poor effort. The entire hole's been an effort, right, Karen? <laughs> well, right from the word go, you're absolutely right. I think it's getting to that point in the day where the temperature's just rising all around. Me Yang Lee to save par. And this is no bargain. This is a good... I mean, it's at least nine, ten feet worth. Still going to have a bit of break to the left, I think. Is going to take it? Yeah, oh, what well a save. Done. Yeah. Trouble on this hole for Mi Yang Lee on a couple of occasions, but she walks away with a five. It's a front nine of one under par. And just from that sort of first cut there, not a bad lie. Ball on a slight upslope. But this hole today cut over that right bunker, so the angle is not great. That being said, there is a backstop behind the hole that she can use to bring it back. If she gets it to the green. Uh, just. It's not bad, though. All right, these have to start to go. Lee at 12. They do, and Judy said this was a good place to putt from. There you go. Mm-hmm. Closest pursuer, Yi Hang Lee. This for birdie at 14. This will have a little bit of a break to the left. Slightly downhill. It's a great putt. 16, and Yi Hang Lee, her second. And she has 135 left from a perfectly flat line of fairway. Slight bit of wind help. And if ever there was the perfect opportunity to hit a good golf shot, now would be it. It is a good shot. Karen Jin Young Ko has bunkered herself to the left at 15, so um, it would be really timely if she could roll a putt in. Got a chance, Terry. And an even bigger putt, maybe, than she realizes right now. Well, I think you're right. I really don't think she she has any idea on what's going on behind her. And I think if you're Mi Hang Lee, and you know, as a player from Korea looking up to somebody like uh, but from behind, you, you just don't think that you're going to have those uh, opportunities. I mean, you just don't expect Ko to, to give it up coming down the stretch. 
Turn. Nope. Going to drift off at the end. I really feel like the way she's been playing golf, she's going to play this a bit out to the right. Maybe try and draw it just ahead, but... She's shown no signs of pressing at all. And this is starting to the right and drawing a bit. This needs to steady itself. Oh, that would be tricky over that little yeah. ridge. Is it a what is uh, Mi Hyang Lee going to do here, Karen? Well, she's got a fairly lofted wedge out. I think this shot is an effort to take away some of the break off that little knoll that we talked about. It does break heavily to the left. And I think if she was to putt it, she would have to putt so much through that fringe it would cause an issue. But this shot does take some nerves. Yeah, it needs a precise touch at the right time. What do you think, Karen? Pretty good? Not bad. I think she would have been hard pushed to have got the putt closer. First things first, this putt has to go. And it does, good up and down. Keeps her at seven under. She still has a chance to break through and win that first major championship. Well, she has 104 left. And I know Judy remembers this well, as do I. I remember a player holding out from the shot, Kari Webb. Yep. Yep. It is possible. But if she wants the chance, she has to hold it. Uh. Well, it's a more makeable putt than some. It might be a mistake, but it was a good one. It can be aggressive. And why wouldn't you be? Well, you have to be. Yep. Okay. Judy really played solid golf, two under 70 here in the final round, and is just a player that was better today.